guys, welcome back. I just had a quick announcement. My videos might start looking a little different. If you guys have noticed, somebody was nice enough to make me an intro and I haven't used it forever. Well, basically my video editor got janky and I went to try to re-download it and I've tried all morning and I can't get it. So I am switching to the YouTube video editor, which I've never used before. So um, I, I don't know if it'll work or not. Mom, did. They don't care about that. They care about what came in the mail. That's what they care about. Well, maybe. Yeah, guys, something came in the mail. Mom's just having fun with you. Okay, she's switching editors, but look. Oh, we need this. We need this. Open it. Make her open it. All right, all right. Okay, guys, I got something in the mail. We got it in the mail. Nice and soft. I, I just went out and checked my mail right now, and it was there. So let's see what we got. I'm like pulling out paper. This is unusual. Oh, packing slip. And there is the current thing you get if you get from Hot Topic. So you know it's Hot Topic. Who do you think we got? Place your pets below. Okay, I'll give you a second. Ready? Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh my god, look, guys. Her skirt is so soft, it's to die for. Okay, now let's... She's got, like, a little bit of fuzz on her. Okay, let's let's look at her first. I am loving this, like, velvet skirt that's just so fashionable. And I like that she has, like, the um, cloth under, you know, like her uh, costume would be. Because I think his costume is actually all flesh tone, and then there's like the purplish details, and then like the purplish details up the front. Uh, she's a decent young lady, and she's got like the ballerina shoes on. So traditionally, it should be ballerina shoes, and then the, the tights, and then like the body bodysuit, and the uh, cute little skirt. Oh, I am just, I'm loving the details on her. I didn't think I'd like her. Cause she looks so simple but it kind of reminds me of like the my little pony plushies do you know what i mean they look so simple in a way and then you get them and you're like eh! and i don't have any i have seen them in stores but i've been like no don't you dare and she's got the little detail here these details are actually this time they're part of the plush itself so the design is printed on the plush itself Okay, not the super, super neatest stitching I've ever seen on the back, but not bad. Let's look at the eyes. And I've switched to this camera because the other one's janky, so. The closed eyes. This, this feels like, um, yeah, it's stitched in embroidered material again, so the eyes are the same. And she's got the little eyelashes, and she's got the dimple, and she's got the mouth, which is also stitched. And the teeth and the, the stitched lipstick. There is a lot of color in her. It's like a um, going through the spectrum of purplish, plumish colors. The skirt's actually kind of like a. I don't even know the word for it, but what, a lot of you are going to know it exactly when you see it. And then she's got up here. And again, this is part of the material this time. It's not like extra elaborate stitching. And she's got here. Like, um, I don't remember her having a tiara, but that's what it's like, like a princess tiara. Like, she's like the evil, well, I don't know if you call her evil, but she's like the, um, dark princess from, like, Sugar Plum Fairy. She's always reminded me of, like, um, something from the Nutcracker she has. It's just there's something about her. She looks very Nutcracker-ish. And here are the sister location tags. That's why I thought they were fake. This is the first generation to go with these tags that kind of look like a um, company made them that isn't legit, but that is the legit tag. They're a clamshell tag this time. And you can see inside. So that is the first generation they've had a clamshell tag. Now let's see who came with her. And I can't remember. Did I order both girls or did I order a girl and a fox? Uh-oh. I know what I'm feeling. Woo! There she is. Her hair is way, way too orange. She's the ultimate ginger. But 
I'm gonna forgive them for that because uh, Funko is never in-game accurate. It kind of drives a lot of people nuts. But they're never in-game accurate. So there she is. She's got some mild detail. Uh, well, she's got a ton of detail, but my biggest peeve with her and with Ballora, and I'm just being honest here, guys, is their face plates are part of their personality. Part of their personality is that they can give you that face plate jump scare. We're not seeing the face plates, unfortunately, very well represented. I mean, there's a vaguest hint on baby up above the eyes, but that said, let's take a look at her. She's got a lot of the same stitching. She's got those beautiful eyes. I don't think they're popping quite as much as they pop in game. She's got her hair and, you know, the eyebrows and the big round of cheeks and the nose. I wish this nose had been three dimensional because that's like another thing. Like I've made two babies. I've made a giant scarecrow and I've made like a baby doll, like a small doll you guys have all seen. And that's why I always got a harsh on, but they didn't even try with this. This is just stitching. I wish this would have been three dimensional because I could have looked at it and went back in and said, well, okay, here's how you do it. And she's got her dress. And again, it feels like crushed velvet. So this part is kind of like flappy material on top of the dress. And she feels kind of like crushed velvet. It might feel a little weird when you feel the doll. Because they don't feel... They don't feel like me, huh? No, they don't. <laughs> so, and then she's got like the... Um, I believe that's... Well, we know what this is. If you don't know, I'm not going to say what this is, but... She's got this, she's got her belly. she got the same kind of skirt, same kind of detail underneath where her costume would go up to the bodysuit. The little tiny feetsy feets. Um, my biggest pet peeve with this generation is that if you didn't know the game's back and forward, you wouldn't know what a lot of these tiny details mean. I mean, I'm all for something, but... And the other thing is, too, I don't know if they did it because they're human. There's your back view. And her tag came permanently opened. So there's, you can see what one would look like flat, stretched out. Um, you notice spindly little limbs on these ones. Okay. I would have honestly expected them to go with this body type for all plush. I seriously expected that baby... And Enard and uh, Ballora would all be kind of more or less this body style. This cute little chubby body style that we're used to. And it would be the dress on top of that. And then it would be your head. I would think, like, try putting this head on this style body. I would think I would look cuter. Um, she's cute in a way, but she's almost kind of like... I love her, don't get me wrong, you almost get the idea she's like a little too flimsy, like these limbs are tiny, so if you have really little kids, get used to sewing these back on, because these limbs are tiny, these are not the real sturdiest limbs, again up here, and we all remember being kids, we all remember pulling on stuff, and you can pull her hair back a little, She's kind of like a disaster waiting to happen. And I know, because I know how many times my mom had to sew my Raggedy Ann doll back together when I was a real little kid. So if you have really little, little, little children, or you have pets, please be careful. I'm going to look at this. Um, the text is made in Vietnam. I'm trying to see if there's an age limit on these. Um, warning, choking hazard, not for under three years. Um... Warning, not suitable for children under something months. Uh, small parts, choking hazard. So yeah, there is a choking hazard warning on these guys. Please take that very seriously. Because this is just like a teeny tiny part. And there's still that little baby in me that's like, Oh, let's rip it off and like swallow it or something. You know what I mean? It's like, it feels so tempting. You like want to like kind of pull at her limbs and see how strong they are. Please don't do that. But yeah, little tiny limbs, skirt can be detached. I, I grew up in a family with a ton of girls, you know, and I, I know how rough girls play with their dolls. Girls are worse than boys. Boys are usually like pretty, you know, 
decent with their toys. Girls will mangle a toy. Uh, if you go into a little girl's room, by the way, and the doll's hanging by its neck, it's perfectly normal. Girls, girls just be violent. I don't know why. Some girls are also violent. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely pull apart capacity on these ones. They feel, they feel nice. Don't get me wrong. I like having baby and Ballora around. Thank you. Uh, learn one of us moved. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> yeah, I like having them around, but they feel really lightweight. They feel more like they were targeted to doll collectors than to FNAF plushie collectors. Because I would not call those, I would not call those plushies. Personally, this is a plushie. Yeah, that's right. I'm a plushie. They're kind of, um, we love dolls. Ma collects dolls and everything, but they're more like dolls. So, yeah, guys. And no, they don't stand up. Yeah, he, he that's another point. There is no way Ballora is standing on the spindly legs. So, bloop! I mean, you can make her dance and everything, but... Bloop! Same thing. She's not going to hold anything in these teeny tiny little arms. We need to send Ballora and Baby to the animatronics shop and get them strengthened up, perhaps. Um, yeah, they're going to sit like that. They're going to be sitters like the rest. But it's kind of, I don't know, <laughs> their legs just go out from under them, and you're like, oh my god, baby! So, yeah, again, you can make her dance and everything, but these are more more like little dolls. Uh, more like if you had, like, a fantasy ballerina room or a doll room or just, like, a fun room with cuter, cuter toys. I never thought I would say Foxy looks hardcore, but Foxy looks hardcore compared to them. That's right, I'm hardcore. Remember that. I'm hardcore, yo. Ah. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I am seriously trying a new editor. My editor broke down. I tried to re-download it, but it's Windows 10, so you all know how that goes. So, I am going to be trying to edit this in YouTube. If you see the video, I was successful. You like what you see? Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.